Yes, as you could see, I'm not a very technical person. <laughs> and we are talking about technology. <laughs> I also was uh, really impressed by the presentation uh, from a professor from Nicaragua uh, all, this, all this way, uh, explaining many wonderful things. I was uh, uh, also very impressed that in the background, when he was speaking, we see books, real books, not computers, but books. And what <laughs> we will be uh, speaking about um, today is uh, uh, how to how our experience of teaching uh, an instrument, violin, which is uh, 400 years old. And uh, that brings me just to the first thought that throughout our experience with technology, which I will briefly go through about 20 years of our experience, um, uh, we learned one very important thing is that it is not the technology itself that presents uh, this great blessing to, to the, it's technology is a tool to carry this wonderful knowledge. And as long as we treat it as such, I think we could progress very beautifully. Em sentiu? Sí? Doncs bé, moltes gràcies uh, per la presentació i per uh, tenir-nos aquí. Estem molt contents realment d'estar de ser en aquest esdeveniment envoltats de gent tan experta. Um, bé, començaré la nostra presentació, però abans m'agradaria dir que he quedat impressionat amb la presentació del professor Cano, que hem tingut just abans. Uh, a part de tot el contingut que ha transmès, m'ha impressionat molt veure que al darrere de la seva imatge hi havia llibres. Llibres de veritat, no hi havia ordinadors, sinó que hi havia llibres. I això m'ha fet pensar en com també nosaltres hem abordat l'ensenyament del violí, que és l'instrument en el qual ens centrem, és un instrument que té més de 400 anys d'història, i com, tot i que ho fem amb tecnologia, ens centrem en, en, en el que va més enllà de la tecnologia. I és la primera cosa important que m'agradaria ressaltar avui aquí, i és que la tecnologia en si no és allò que ens permet eh, accedir a aquesta bendició que és el coneixement musical, sinó que el que importa és el que fem nosaltres amb la tecnologia i que si tenim aquest, aquest enfocament és el que ens permet realment avançar de la manera correcta. Uh, our experience with uh, technology started uh, about 20 years ago. That was before Skype, before, before anything. Um, it, it started basically by a great need. We have a group of very talented students in, in uh, San Diego, in California. Uh, and uh, when we left the area, uh, we had to leave um, and move to another part of the country. The students that we had wanted to continue to study with us. They wanted that knowledge. But there was no way for us to provide them, except for them to fly across the country <laughs> every week, which was not possible. Um, so out of the desperation, we said, what can we do? What is available? And at that point, we realized that there is technology. There is a way to provide this incredible opportunity for the students and for us to be together. La nostra experiència amb la tecnologia va començar fa 20 anys, en una època on encara no hi havia ni Skype ni tot això que coneixem avui en dia, i va començar realment per necessitat. En aquella època estàvem donant classe a un grup d'estudiants molt uh, talentuosos de San Diego, de Califòrnia, i per diferents circumstàncies vam haver d'anar a una altra zona de, del país, i per tant no podíem seguir ser allà, ser allà físicament amb ells. I evidentment no podíem tampoc agafar un avió cada setmana per anar a donar classes, ells volien seguir estudiant amb nosaltres i vam pensar què podem fer davant d'aquesta situació. I ens vam adonar que evidentment teníem la tecnologia que ofereix una oportunitat fantàstica tant per als estudiants com per nosaltres per seguir donant classes. Uh, we uh, contacted um, a big company that just came out with an interesting product for a video conferencing for businesses and they only um, uh, were designed to to deal with talk not music language van vam connectar amb una companyia que just acabava de treure un producte de videoconferència i que permetia justament aquesta comunicació només per part del llenguatge de la parla and they were able to uh, improve the product uh, improve the synchronicity and the quality of sound. It was still pretty uh, 
pretty bad at the beginning, but then it got better. It allowed us an opportunity to, mm -hmm. to work. I aquesta companyia, a mica a mica, va anar millorant el seu producte a nivell de la sincronicitat i també de la qualitat del so. No, es, no era cap meravella tampoc, mm, però sí que van anar-ho millorant en comparació amb com era al principi i això ens va donar l'oportunitat de començar a treballar d'aquesta manera. In order to support uh, uh, this beginning, this new beginning of, of actually being able to, to, to teach um, across thousands of miles, we formed a group an international uh, music institute that facilitated that. Per poder dur a terme aquests ensenyaments a tan llarga distància, vam crear un institut uh, que ens, uh, diguem, acompanyés, que ens permetés fer-ho amb aquest acompanyament d'una institució. Uh, I would like to, to show a very sentimental, but a, a little bit of video from 20 years ago. And this is the video of uh, kind of an introducing a formation of our institute. And I will skip to, towards the end, but you will see the actual way of teaching at that time. Ara us ensenyaré un vídeo que és molt sentimental per nosaltres de fa 20 anys que mostra els inicis de com va crear aquesta aquesta institut. L'avançaré cap al final perquè sigui més ràpid, però veureu com solíem ensenyar mentre vam crear el nostre institut de 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 educació. We have created a Groupman International Violin Institute, which is a non-profit organization with the goal of selecting very special talent young violinists uh, who are seeking uh, a, a very organized approach and organized education who are really destined for international performing career <laughs> many do in our business they're just using and abusing the, the talented child what we try to represent is the approach and philosophy of giving the child all the nourishment that needs to be there discovering this this wonderful people uh, making sure that we provide not only opportunities to perform but we provide a great relationship with chemistry between all the elements from uh, teaching parents and, and, and providing the philosophy of teaching and proper teaching with all the elements uh, that, that create a complete artist, not just a, a fast finger machine. Produ produce a musician like this, it requires a combination of things. It requires nurturing at home, determination of parents, dedication and sacrifice. It, it, it requires incredible sacrifice from a teacher uh, and of course child's desire and determination to to do the best okay now let's do the chords <laughs> my vision and my goal was to give him the sound of an old masters Eugenio Gorski, the wonderful 13-year-old violinist, is one of the students of the Institute, and he actually represents everything that the Institute is all about. He's growing in, in a harmonious environment. His parents are very dedicated. We guide them. He has wonderful relationship with us as teachers, uh, not only professional, but also human. And for seven years, he flew every two weeks across the country to receive his teaching instructions. Now we have a video conferencing connection and uh, life is much easier. See the place D, play, D flat with Calando? That's not retardando. Right now we have this wonderful tool which is video conferencing technology that we do, could do it from our home to their home. And that is creating a miraculous result, really. Our goal is uh, provide, goal is uh, provide uh, career development, performance opportunities, and really develop this young talents into rounded, well-rounded, uh, solid artists and launch their careers through our connections uh, with various conductors and uh, various people in the industry. Uh, and love for music. The combination of all those things is what is necessary to produce uh, a great artist.
Many people with many different talents, particularly the dedication of mothers, subscribing to the right philosophy. We don't want the children to have a two-year splash. We want them to have longevity. We want them to be a complete artist and have a wonderful career. Thank you for your patience. Um, uh, this was 2001, and so we were really pioneers in, in, in that field and in, in our area. Gracias por la vostra paciència. Això era l'any 2001, per tant vam ser realment pioners en el nostre àmbit. Yes, this boy, Eugene Ogorski, that you have seen, he's now 30. Uh, he, um, and since age of nine, he, uh, he was receiving his education uh, through video conferencing, uh, through video. And uh, there are a, a, a large group of such students who, who excel um, and who were able to receive this knowledge uh, that we offered uh, through, uh, because of the gift of technology. Mm -hmm. and, and we're very grateful. Aquest uh, violinista avui en dia té 30 anys, uh, en aquella època tenia 9 anys i des d'aquesta edat, des dels 9 anys, s'ha estat formant amb nosaltres a través de videoconferència i com ell hi ha un gran grup també d'altres joves que han assolit l'excel·lència gràcies a aquest gran regal que és la tecnologia. Um, over the years, the institute, uh, through the institute, we continue to use technology to benefit the learning process. It was uh, quite quite dramatic uh, development, of course, of technology. Bé, a dia d'avui l'Institut segueix uh, treballant uh, a través de la tecnologia um, per fer arribar doncs, els nostres ensenyaments a través de la tecnologia i evidentment en tot aquest temps la tecnologia ha evolucionat moltíssim. Uh, through the time we created a school for teachers. Um, our former students uh, became teachers. They had their own big classes of students and started um, started working. Uh, amb el temps hem creat doncs, una escola per a mestres, per a professors i de fet molts dels nostres antics estudiants avui en dia s'han convertit en professors. We uh, teach workshops for teachers throughout the world and also teach the students of, of our students. I també organitzem tallers per a professors de tot el món i evidentment també doncs, donem classes als uh, estudiants dels nostres antics estudiants. Uh, another great thing that uh, helped us was the forum, that we create a forum on our platform of our institute, a uh, forum which uh, connects all of um, uh, the students and, and their friends and, and different communities, uh, that um, on this forum they could ask any questions, they could share things, we are participating, we're answering their questions. Una cosa de la qual estem molt orgullosos és que a través de l'Institut hem pogut crear un fòrum uh, que connecta tota aquesta gran comunitat d'estudiants, també els amics dels estudiants, tota la comunitat en, en definitiva, i a través del fòrum uh, podem compartir diferents coses, fer preguntes, i nosaltres evidentment també hi som per poder respondre a totes les preguntes. Um. Some of the most uh, moving experiences that through technology uh, were the um, uh, uh, kids that we were able to teach with together with our students um, in the remote mountain communities um, of Central Asia that was through UNESCO program. Una de les coses més emotives que hem pogut fer gràcies a la tecnologia és un programa de formació que vam poder fer gràcies al suport de la UNESCO a uns nens que viuen a una zona molt allunyada, una zona muntanyosa molt allunyada del centre d'Àsia. Yes, yes, yes. Um, of course, with, uh, with pandemic, things changed dramatically. And the use of technology became much more wide. Evidentment, amb l'arribada de la pandèmia tot ha canviat moltíssim i l'ús de la tecnologia s'ha fet molt més generalitzat. We found that uh, learning institutions, universities, conservatories around the world uh, were much more open now and much more willing to experiment. Avui en dia les universitats i els centres educatius estan molt més oberts 
a, a, a assumir aquesta nova forma de, de treballar i estan molt més també oberts a experimentar. Like we have now students at the university in the United States and also in Beijing that we're teaching um, uh, over the internet, but more importantly, the universities had welcomed us um, to become part of their program. So the students that we are teaching are officially in the programs of these university and are able to take lessons from us. Treballem amb estudiants dels Estats Units, també de, de Pequín, uh, entre bé, altres llocs, i també és molt important destacar que les universitats ens han uh, acollit dins dels seus programes i dels seus cursos, de forma que nosaltres donem classes a través del nostre institut, però que això a estudiants que són universitaris, i el nostre ensenyament està integrat dins de la universitat. And uh, most recently, uh, through First Chair Academy, which is the Academy for um, uh, Orchestra Leadership, Um, we continue to, to use this uh, wonderful tool um, to reach around the world. I també més recentment a través de la First Chair Academy um, um, podem també participar en la formació de direcció d'orquestres i ho podem fer gràcies a la nostra a plataforma a través de, de l'Institut. Yes, as a concertmaster uh, of the Rotterdam Philharmonic and, and London Symphony, Uh, in this world, uh, I experience also great change and great new use of technology with, with sharing, uh, streaming, uh, digital media, and developing totally new audiences. Com a antic uh, director de la Sinfònica de Londres i de la Filharmònica de Rotterdam, he pogut uh, jo mateix comprovar uh, tot el que ens pot aportar la, la tecnologia i el que ens pot ajudar uh, a assolir. Thank you very much. I let uh, my wife continue uh, with, with the presentation. Moltes gràcies. Ara deixaré la meva mm, dona que, que segueixi amb la nostra presentació. Thank you very much for inviting us to be here. Gràcies uh, per haver-nos convidat. Can you, can you help me to... I would like to open, the, to open those pictures so I can show some yeah. of it. Here, yeah, And you I have can, all the pictures yes. here. Okay, fantastic. Okay. Thank you so much. I will, maybe you can roll them yeah. while I'm talking so I'm not distracted. Thanks so much. But what do you exactly want? To uh, to just, just slowly roll them so I can, while I'm talking. Okay. Or, or I can do it. I But can it do it. Just, you can click this button here if you want. Don't okay, don't. fantastic, thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much, uh, Nuria, for inviting us to do this. És un plaer estar aquí amb vosaltres. Gràcies, Núria, per la invitació. Um, I would like to just talk briefly about how our teaching has to adapt since we started to teach via internet. M'agradaria parlar molt breument de com s'ha desenvolupat el nostre mètode educatiu des de que vam començar a ensenyar per internet. And a little bit about our experiences. A little bit about our teaching experiences uh, via internet i també de la nostra experiència docent a través d'internet. So, uh, I will be mainly talking about uh, uh, the advantages and uh, the good sides of teaching via internet because everybody today is probably very familiar with um, difficulties. Em centraré sobretot en els avantatges d'ensenyar per internet perquè estic segura de que avui dia tothom està molt familiaritzat amb les dificultats. Well, first of all, I would like to say that um, I think that using technology in teaching or teaching via internet, the internet made us better teachers during all these years. En primer lloc, m'agradaria dir que jo estic convençuda de que la tecnologia o l'ensenyança a través d'internet a nosaltres ens ha convertit en millors mestres durant aquests anys. The fact that we uh, cannot touch a student, correct his arm, or um, um, touch his hand, fingers, or posture, correct the posture, forced us to learn how to better identify visually students' technical weaknesses and also qualities without relying only on what we hear. El fet de no poder tocar l'alumne, de no poder tocar-li el braç, corregir-li la posició, la postura, tocar-li la mà, els dits, ens va obligar a poder detectar només auditivament els punts forts i febles de l'estudiant. We had to learn how to look at things more correctly and 
uh, how to pay attention to small details uh, visually. Vam aprendre a mirar les coses d'una manera correcta, a poder apreciar a través del visual. It made us uh, fast recognize faster the position, for example, of tension uh, or relaxation of, of every muscle of student's body and how it would affect their playing. Va fer que poguéssim identificar només amb els ulls posicions degudes a la tensió o a la relaxació de l'estudiant i poder corregir-les adequadament. It made us pinpoint very quickly what the problem is and, for example, how to uh, made us learn how to describe the problem because since you cannot come and touch, you have to really use your words to describe. Ens va fer aprendre a poder identificar problemes molt ràpidament i a poder-los descriure fent servir només les paraules, donat que com que no podíem tocar, havíem de ser capaços de donar instruccions molt precises. To give you just an example, for example, if a student doesn't finish uh, the bow arm movement with the upper arm, we knew that the sound will change even if we couldn't hear it. Per donar-vos un exemple, sabíem que si un estudiant no completa el moviment amb l'arc amb la part superior del braç, el, el so canviaria. Uh, without going into too many details, I don't know how many violinists you have here, probably none, but just to, to say that, uh, for example, if, if we see that uh, um, uh, left shoulder or right shoulder is tense, uh, we, we learned how to spot that, that immediately and then we knew immediately what kind of sound will come there, there even when the, the sound wasn't that great. I per no entrar massa en detalls, perquè no sé quants violinistes hi ha a la sala, potser cap, eh, vam aprendre a identificar molt ràpidament a través només de la imatge, per exemple, que si hi havia una espatlla més tensa que l'altra, eh, el so seria diferent i érem capaços d'anticipar-ho. Uh, the circumstances of, of internet teaching pushed us into direction of uh, learning how to explain things verbally better. I ensenyar per internet també ens va fer que aprenguéssim a explicar les coses verbalment molt millor. Uh, we needed to develop a skill how to, um, how to explain things. And um, we needed to explain in words not only technical issues, but also to explain the musical things like color, and um, the mood, the uh, emotion, and how it should be, uh, how it should come out on the instrument. Vam haver d'aprendre no només a identificar detalls, sinó de, a traslladar verbalment no només aspectes tècnics, sinó també coses més subjectives com el color, la tonalitat, la, les emocions, uh, l'estat d'ànim, per com s'havia de reproduir la música. Occasionally we needed to have another person together with with the student and if it's an adult student it would be another student who could help maybe uh, physically touch or lift the arm but if it's a child we always worked with the parents we insisted that the parent must be present and uh, so the the parent was also instructed how to help the, the student at home. Uh, um, també de vegades recorríem al, a tenir una altra persona ajudant el nostre alumne físicament perquè pogués fer-li les correccions oportunes. En el cas dels alumnes adults es tractava doncs, d'un altre estudiant, però en el cas dels infants uh, insistíem sempre en que fos el pare o la mare que estigués sempre present i també els donàvem la formació adequada perquè els poguessin corregir. Oh, and of course, um, especially with little children, or you know even with adults it was very important to have some lessons in live and then some then to continue in between to continue uh, via internet so we are big advocates of uh, hybrid teaching and we think that this is probably the, uh, the um, com combine this opportunity live and via uh, uh, internet is something that that we think is the is the best uh, is the best thing. Um, um, també insistíem en el cas dels infants, però també en els adults, en fer classes en persona a més de les classes uh, per internet. En aquest sentit, nosaltres som uns grans defensors de l'ensenyament híbrid i creiem que és la manera d'avançar combinar tant uh, les classes presencials com uh, a través de la tecnologia. It gave the best results in our 
uh, in our experience. All, well, another aspect I just wanted to mention quickly, it's how it affects the student. And I think it affects the student in very positive way. I will explain that this combination of uh, hybrid teaching provides uh, for the student that become the student becomes more independent in, in his progress. Um, perquè aquesta combinació en la nostra opinió obté els millors resultats. Una altra cosa en la que m'agradaria aturar-me és l'efecte que té en els estudiants, perquè creiem que aquesta combinació d'ensenyança presencial i online el que fa és generar una independència més gran en l'alumne. When the teacher's energy is not present in, in person, which sometimes intimidates the student, Student starts to give more personal initiative and feels more uh, responsibility for the results of his progress. Sense la presència del mestre que a vegades pot resultar intimidant, l'alumne comença a prendre més la iniciativa a l'hora de practicar i obté uns resultats uh, més in independents. Uh, in, this, in this way we, we, we think that hybrid teaching uh, really gave us some advantages and Uh, thanks to this, I think we became better teachers. Uh, I would like to share some uh, slides with you, some photos. This is from the workshop uh, in, uh, in uh, America, in a master class. I would like to just uh, uh, show you more of this very quickly, if I can. But for some reason, it, it is, um, yeah. You see, we were uh, here in Europe, and uh, the students were Uh, uh, playing for us live, so it's synchronized teaching, uh, and we were instructed them uh, right there on the spot. And that that this is those are slides from probably ten years ago. Um, as you as you could see, we were the pi the real pioneers. <laughs> we started this before even Skype existed, and. Uh, When the Skype came as the first um, video conferencing tool, we were just so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so those are some of the photos I wanted to share with you. Uh, uh, we, we also could teach chamber music, not only uh, individual lessons. Uh, orchestra, as my husband mentioned, orchestra also. Uh, and, and you can see the... Uh, students are of all ages, all uh, levels, and um, uh, all kind of um, needs they had. Um, en la nostra opinió, això ens va fer millors mestres i ens va donar un avantatge respecte a altres uh, ensenyants. Ara el que us ensenyaré són una sèrie de fotografies doncs, de la nostra pràctica al llarg dels anys. El primer que heu vist és una masterclass que vam fer als Estats Units, on nosaltres, els alumnes tocaven en directe i nosaltres els vèiem, i els hi donàvem instruccions i correccions. Com veieu, hi ha alumnes de totes les edats. Um, Fixeu-vos que nosaltres vam ser els autèntics pioners, vam començar a fer això uh, abans de que hi hagués Skype. De fet, quan es va anunciar Skype com la primera plataforma forma de videoconferència ens van posar contentíssims. Com veieu aquí també, a més d'estudiants individuals, també ensenyem música de cambra i com ha dit el meu marit, també fem eh, orquestra. I'm going to uh, just give an example three successful students uh, only there are many but I'm just going to tell you about three successful stories. The girl you see here uh, is a Chinese, she lives in America and uh, her parents found me when she was four years old and um, I started teaching her and then we had to move from California. Her parents were um, once a month or once in two months as they could, driving her to California to see me live, but the rest of the lessons she was receiving uh, via uh, this device that we had, uh, So Sorensen uh, software, uh, hardware, I'm sorry, and they would install this disk in the computer, and of course, I would install in my Windows 99, and we, we, had, um, we, we could communicate this way. Um, uh, I was teaching her this hybrid teaching was going on for 13 years, and then she came to Rotterdam Conservatory to study. She graduated with bachelor and master's, And last year, right after she graduated, received the, f the first, she was awarded first pri prize of international violin competition 
Lipitzer in uh, Italy. Um, us vull donar l'exemple de tres alumnes de molt de talent, tres d'entre molts. Um, aquesta noia que veieu aquí, per exemple, és uh, d'origen xinès, viu als Estats Units, i els seus pares em van trobar doncs, quan ella tenia quatre anys, li vaig començar a donar classe, però quan me'n vaig anar a Califòrnia, els pares van començar a portar-la en cotxe uh, una vegada al mes o una vegada cada dos mesos, sempre que podien, per fer-li classes en persona. Mentrestant, continuàvem amb les classes online, doncs amb aquest programa de Sorensen, aquest software que teníem, que ells l'instal·laven al seu ordinador i jo l'instal·lava en el meu Windows 99 i així podíem continuar les classes. Doncs aquesta noia um, va anar al Conservatori de Rotterdam on va fer doncs el grau i el màster i va guanyar fa poc a la competició internacional de violí Lipitzer. Uh, the, some photos of Eugene Ugorski which you saw there, he practically grew up uh, via this hybrid teaching and uh you know today he is an uh, in internationally renowned soloist um another one is uh well actually this one i showed you uh, let me go on this little girl that you see there with me it's the sister of this violinist previously she started also with me when she was five years old and um also via hybrid teaching parents were bringing her also like that wherever we lived they were flying but in between uh, she had this internet lessons and then um two years ago uh you know she was she became um first uh, she made a history actually the first young person of 23 years old become concert master of um Gante. of the uh flams uh, orchestra national orchestra and ballet and uh, Belgium. yeah uh national orchestra of um B belgium yes so this is just a little photo of, and this is this is this was her today one more example of uh, advantages of this teaching and how much it reaches in the uh, remote areas of the world is this uh, this is a photo of um, our master class with com combination of students from rotterdam america and palestine and you can see this three students in the middle i have no pointer here but this one these three students are from palestine and they had uh, played for us uh, at the master class uh, at the time when uh, there were airstrikes going on between Israel and Palestine. And um, I choke when I talk about this because we learned later that they were playing and they were, uh, you know, uh, uh, Scud missiles flying above their heads when they were playing uh, for this. And what a fantastic experience this was sorry okay um, parlarem aquí teniu l'Eugín a les fotos que heu, que heu vist abans que és el, el noi que hem vist abans del vídeo que avui dia doncs és un solista un violinista solista de renom internacional um, i després aquesta nena d'aquí que és a la foto amb mi és la germana de la noia que hem vist abans que va començar a fer classes amb mi doncs quan tenia cinc anys i els pares doncs la portaven amb avió sempre que podíem uh, allà on nosaltres estiguéssim vivint i també pràcticament es va criar amb aquest model híbrid uh, d'aprenentatge de, 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 de musical um, i després aquesta noia doncs s'ha convertit en la primer en, la primera persona eh, més jove de 22 anys en ser directora de l'Orquestra de Bèlgica, de l'Orquestra Nacional de Bèlgica. Um, i després, en aquesta captura de pantalla que veieu, és una de les nostres masterclass online, que per nosaltres és una cosa molt important perquè ens ha ajudat a arribar a racons del món eh, on potser no hauríem pogut arribar. Per exemple, els tres alumnes del centre d'aquesta um, col·lecció de cares eren palestins que estaven participant a la classe en directe i no vam descobrir fins més endavant i m'emociono només d'explicar-ho que estaven tocant mentre hi havia un atac aeri eh, doncs hi havia míssils volant per sobre dels seus caps. Thanks to this technology in closing I just want to say that thanks to this technology and online teaching we could reach places and people and students that would not be humanly possible especially now with pandemic and with travel restrictions. Uh, per acabar, m'agradaria dir que per nosaltres, gràcies a la tecnologia, hem pogut arribar a indrets i a persones i a alumnes on de cap manera humana hauríem pogut arribar si no fos per la tecnologia, especialment en el context actual de la pandèmia. 
We're very grateful for this. Thank you so much for your attention. Y nos estamos agradecidos. Muchas gracias.